When to start? After sitting for about a month and a half, probably. Hey, that got it going though. So I went ahead and replaced the battery with the Napa Legend. It's got like a four year warranty on it. And the next thing you need to do here is this bumper needs to be replaced because we've got some rust showing through on these corners. So we're gonna get that taken care of. Yeah, we're gonna get this windshield replaced today. Breaking her back out after the long winter of sitting. All right, we got that fixed. There's your answer, Marcus. I got the new windshield, I'm loving that. Nice and clear, insurance paid. Good thing for full coverage on these. All right, let's go do some other things. We've got a new grill. We're gonna throw on this thing, freshen it up a little bit. And we're also gonna replace the bumper. A lot of times the bumper will rust out. Right here in these corners. I've got some aluminum tape on there because it was looking pretty bad here for the last year. Something I've neglected. It's coming through on this side. We go up underneath. You can see there in the corners all that rust. And also some fasteners. We're going to need to replace that. It's really bad in both, both corners here. Freshen up the look a little bit. All right, so here's a bumper that I picked up. It's primed black. It's made in Taiwan, like 120 bucks. I'm not gonna paint it because I'm lazy. M8, 125. Get some hardware to attach this thing. There's only actually six nuts that attach this thing. Got 12 millimeter right here. Unplug your turn signals. And we got another 12 millimeter right in here, right behind this little flap. This is a, a pro grill. Plastic, kind of a grayish color. Non-metallic, non-shiny. I'm not gonna mess around with painting it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I think that's gonna look pretty sweet. Construction looks like it's fairly good. And because this isn't an official Toyota product, we've got some letters here that I will buy myself. And it looks like those can either be painted or wrapped or just left that kind of grayish look, which I think is, I don't know what I'm gonna do there. But let's uh, install this thing and see how it looks. All right, so with these Toyota blocks, there's some holes right there. I'm gonna use some screws. I've read that screws have came and done and these have fallen off going down the road, so probably a good idea to use a little bit of thread lock or else use a little bit of glue. Although that would probably damage if you ever need to take it out, but I don't know why you'd want to take it out. So there are two screws that are some short ones, some long ones, I'm taking the long. Getting some packing on there. And then just going ahead and screwing it down. That should hold it pretty well and yeah, we'll just see if that holds up. All right, so there's the finished product. Plastic seems to be fairly flexible, not too brittle. We've got those letters in there. Go ahead and let that set up. It should hold pretty well. There's plenty in the threads. All right, I'm looking through all my parts bin here. I know a while back, Here's my fuel filter. Things to do, the valve cover gaskets, and yeah, there we go. Some genuine Toyota hood clips. That's going to be used. You want to get the genuine ones because the other uh, Chinese-made ones will break real easily. 
Yeah, this is the first one to be expected. Busted right off. Come give me a hand. Right here, kind of up underneath here. Right here. The whole bumper is going to come off. Oh, all right. Go ahead and. Man, look how rusty that thing is. Yeah, I can see your dong. You're going to the pool? There's just scale rust. Look at this. All right, that's cool. Oh, I think you're on camera too. I do just now point that out. Look at this. That's ready to come through. That one's actually taped on. So, all right, well now I just gotta disassemble these little clips right here. And these, whoop, that, that just came out right there. So we're good on that. I'll go to these. All right, so prepared for a couple to snap off. And a couple of them, and then have some uh, PB blaster for these really bad areas and some vice grips. I was able to break this one loose, and that's the last little nut on there. So now we can go ahead and switch all this stuff over and have to come up with a solution for this. Might run to a hardware store, see if I can grab something. Well, all right, so we're getting it. A couple little obstacles, but in here we've got some inserts in this plastic piece. Trying to be careful so don't scratch that up. Obviously, we're gonna have to put that onto the, the new bumper. All right, we're getting this thing back together cobbling it together. We'll install it. I'm gonna spray it with fluid film. My dad records every single step. Yeah, we're gonna try to prevent the rust and keep this thing lasting as long as possible. It's easy to do it while it's off the vehicle. Try not to get your legs there. Bro. All right, this project has turned into more than an afternoon's worth. So I have some extra clips, have some bolts, nuts, fasteners that you're gonna need for this thing because most of them are gonna break. That was my experience. Fit and finish on this grill is okay. A little bit flimsy. Here, up top it's all right. You still got access to your hood opening. Uh, definitely looks killer. And uh, I'm gonna Throw that thing in the trash. Yep, it's an original Toyota bumper. So, 18, 19 years old. We'll check this out tomorrow in the daytime, wash the truck up, and continue with the springtime cleaning of the Tacoma Queen. All right, so this is not a review of this grill, but after putting it in, it's a lot easier than doing your own grill. Cheaper, a couple hundred bucks. You don't have to mess around with the stock grill, cutting it up. So I have that on for a spare. 
but the pins actually here i've got some brand new toyota clips of course and they don't lock in like they're supposed to so if i feel like i might want to get a little creative here i might just do the zip pie around that cross what else can we do for springtime change oil probably drop four quarts of transmission fluid change that out and i think i'm going to go ahead since it's been two years of ownership here with this tacoma i'm going to drop the uh, antifreeze and put in some new uh, toyota red coolant so that is coming up but hey enjoying this truck enjoying the value of it and uh, it's nice to have just a, a vehicle to, to play around with as i'm sure a lot of you are enthusiasts as well this project's going to turn into tacoma blackout so stay tuned for that badges and rear bumper coming up